Hi, Keller Williams. Welcome back to the Command 6060 Challenge Marketing Mini Series. Um, today, we are going to show you wrap up the long term nurture plan and show you a couple of different ways that you can utilize this with your leads for lead generation. So first thing I will say is once you download it, take a minute and really review the content. And again, there is no edits that need to be made. However, if you want to personalize things, um, going through each step, recognizing the flow, recognizing that at the beginning, especially those first 10 days, it's not called 10 days of pain for nothing. <laughs> um, there's going to be a higher frequency. It's going to funnel out into an eight by eight structure. The long-term nurture is going to be more like every 30 days. So um, first strategy that I want to share with you is through the powerful tool that is the command app. So I'm going to make sure that my phone is shared correctly. Sorry about that. Okay, sorry, there we go. So I am on the dashboard of my command app. Command app is found on the app store. Your login for command app is the exact same login as your KW command desktop version, agent.kw.com. So once you're logged in, this is what your dashboard looks like, or at least, you know, looks similar to it. Um, if you jump over to your contacts, this is where all of your contacts will be listed. So I'm going to share with you first strategy. I'm going to hone in on open houses, but you can use this for maybe um, like a home builder fair, or maybe you are a model home agent and there are people consistently coming into a home where you're wanting to record their information. I'm using a couple of examples, but traditional open house is what I'm gonna use. Um, as I meet those people, usually what happens um, is you have some type of a piece of paper and it has a pen next to it. And that person puts on their phone number if they are represented by an agent and their contact info. Um, usually your um, explanation of that as an agent is this is required by my seller, just so I have a record of you know who has come through their home and you are just recording everybody that walks through there. Um, what is nice about that is people feel great about filling out a piece of paper. Um, we definitely can do a lot of cool, fancy things with landing pages and iPads and all QR codes, all that good stuff. Um, if we're just doing the traditional write your name, phone number, email down, that's fine too. So what I'm going to do at an open house is I'm going to have that piece of paper. Um, I'm going to go look during you know, maybe it's a busy open house and I can't do this till after it's done, but let's say there's a lag. I can go in and um, just look at that white sheet of paper that has a few names on it, go click add new. I can go put the person's info in really quick, their name, their phone number, their email. Usually I maybe don't have their address at this point. And then right here, I can say lead source. I can go plug in open house, okay? And then next, let's say I do tag, I have a lead source, but let's say I also tag my lead sources. So example, and this is just what I do. I'm not saying this is the right or wrong way. Um, if I have a lead source of an open house, I also have that as a tag, um, specifically my primary lead sources. That is just a strategy I do. So I'm going to go click open house, click done, click save. And I usually turn on mark as lead. Okay. So at the end of the open house, I'm in my car and I have recorded everybody in my database that walked through there. How often do you hear, or maybe I'm calling you out, um, how often do you hear the agents go, yeah, I held six open houses last year, like who knows where those white sheets of paper went. Um, 
if somebody called me or followed up, or maybe I called the two people that I had a really good conversation with, but really the follow-up maybe wasn't intentional. That's not going to happen with you anymore. Every lead is going to have its place because your time is very important. If you're going to spend two hours every single Saturday at an open house, time is money. You need to make sure those people are on a follow-up plan. So now that you went in and added them, you're going to do one quick, really easy step. So I just went in and added, I'm going to go click on Aaron. I'm going to go click on that plus sign in the corner. I'm going to go click add to smart plan. And then you'll see all of my smart plans pop up. If you remember from yesterday, you just need to add people to part one and then you're off on the automation. I'm going to go click part one. You'll be able to see all the steps. I want to start it today. I'm going to go click confirm. Now Aaron is on that long-term follow-up plan. So what is cool about that is the first step of the smart plan has an email and a text and then a reminder to call the person. So if you are intentional about adding these people in quickly, as they have come into the open house, they could potentially be getting a text from you as they're driving to the next open house. So speed to lead is extremely important in um, any type of lead generation setting. And so in this example of the open house setting, this is a great way to go and get these people on follow-up. So summary of this specific tool is I have spent 20 minutes, maybe, putting in all of the people from the open house. I've gone in and pushed three buttons and now they are on almost an 18 month long-term follow-up plan that I don't even have to think about. It's gonna happen automatically. I'm gonna get responses on it. And now I have automated, truly automated my lead follow-up for anybody coming into my funnel. So that is just a quick example. It's pretty exciting to think of how much hopefully this will increase your conversion. Um, this is just one example. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about how um, you're going to follow up with long-term or not long-term. This is all long-term um, following up with maybe old leads, leads that are already in the system, a little bit of strategy behind that. So we'll see you guys tomorrow.